A boy goes to a daycare in the suburbs, but he never makes it home. Now police are awaiting autopsy reports to learn how the five-year-old died. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemonio reports from Richmond Park. Hey, buddy, buddy. We want to send out our heartfelt condolences to the family. Richton Park Chief of Police Demetrius Cook talks about the death of five-year-old Anthony Pearson. It was a solemn day here after that. We all have kids, and when we see a kid in distress, no matter whose child it is, uh, it brings a, a, a certain emotion out, and we're, we're dealing with our personnel on that level. Tuesday morning, Richton Park Police arrived first on the scene when they were called to the Little Dreamers Daycare, located inside this home, after the five-year-old was found unresponsive in the house. Officers performed CPR on the scene until fire paramedics arrived. Paramedics brought the child here to Franciscan Health Olympia Fields, where he was pronounced dead. In a Facebook post, the child's mother, Tiffany Pearson, says she left her child in the care of a woman at a daycare in the house. She wrote she never knew it would be the last time she kissed and hugged her son goodbye. Pearson says her son has autism and epilepsy. She says the woman told police she strapped the five-year-old in a car seat inside the house so she could take a 20 to 30 minute shower. In the post, Pearson goes on to say by the time she was finished, he was unresponsive. We checked records and neither the woman, Little Dreamers or the home address comes up in a licensed daycare provider search. You need to have a license if you care for more than eight children in your home, but it's unclear how many children were cared for at Little Dreamers each day. We tried to reach the daycare operator at the house, but instead of answering, she called police. In Richton Park, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News. DCFS would only tell us they have had prior contact with someone who cares for children at the daycare, but would not give us further details.